Firstly, a lecturer creates a data, for example, an assignment question that will be sent to the ULEN system. The application layer, which is layer 7 of the OSI model, supports application and end user processes. In here, the quality of service is identified, authentication and privacy are considered. This layer is the presentation layer, which is layer 6. In this layer, basically what happened is the translation of the application to network format or vice versa. Here, the data is transformed into a form that is able to be accepted. For example, it is converted into S key. After formatting and encryption, the data is sent across the network to the station layer, which is layer 5. In the session layer, the data flow from end user is managed. This layer will manage, terminate and establish connections and conversations between applications at each end, which is lecturer's laptop and ULEN system. The data is then sent to the transport layer, which is layer 4. Here, it is responsible for the delivery of data to the appropriate location and this involves statistical multiplexing of various data. Here is provide transfer of data between hosts and is responsible for end-to-end -end error recovery and flow control. It also ensures complete data transfer. In the network layer, data is transferred in the form of packets through logical network path in an ordered format. How this process is managed in the network layer is through these processes. Basically, what happens is that a new packet is created and it is monitored to handle its error, sequencing and also congestion control. The data is then moved to the data link layer, which is layer 2, where data packets are encoded and decoded into bits. This layer actually can be further divided into two segments Then, in the physical layer which is layer 1, the data in this layer will be in form of 0 and 1 which is in binary. So here, bit synchronization occurs and this will ensure the end user data is assembled correctly and is